They call it the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED Touch. In this video, let's unbox it. Now, this is the 2023 model with the latest Ryzen 7 7730U. This has integrated Radeon graphics, so you're not getting a dedicated GPU with this laptop. And it has 16 gigs of RAM on board RAM. So you won't be able to upgrade this laptop post purchase. But this would be a great laptop for designers, photographers, some digital art, since this is a touchscreen laptop. But this would not be my top pick for 4K video editing, though you could do some light 4K video editing with this laptop. Now, without the dedicated GPU, that's where I'm still a little wary on long-term use as a you know 4K video editor. Because as we've seen throughout the years, resolution not only grows from say 6K to 8K, but even with 4K footage, I've seen that get heavier over the years with different bit rates. So I would definitely put this at the 1080p and light 4K video editing laptop. Now this laptop is not cheap and I didn't expect it to be. This is a laptop with an OLED display in the latest 7000 series processor from AMD. And man, that is nice, thin, light, the weight and thickness up there on the screen for you. And uh, there's your charger block. So that's the full package you'd be taking with you on the go. So very on the go friendly package here. This is a 65 watt hour charger. Now let's go ahead and get this thing out of the wrapper. There is the laptop, aluminum chassis. It's got really good assembly, no rattliness or shakiness. Uh, let's check out the edges here. There's a little bit of a catchy edge here where the bottom cover fits into the side panel, but nothing concerning, no poor assembly. The assembly looks great on the laptop. We have a vent here uh, where you can see one of the fans kind of popping through right there. I'm assuming this will be a singular fan chassis. Let's go ahead and do a quick open and close test. See if you can open and close this laptop with one hand. Nice, opens and closes with one hand very easily, looks great. And the screen actually does look a little thicker than some other ones I've seen on the market, but that's really nice because it lends to less screen flex. That looks really good. Let's see how the bounciness is on the screen. A little bouncy there, but as you go back there, it doesn't bounce as much. So nice hinge, it's definitely some bounce right there, but nice hinge overall. Man, a nice large trackpad. Take a look at that. That is fantastic. Now this is a ZenBook, but you don't have the dial that comes on the ZenBook Pro, but you do have the calculator that you can roll on and off right there on your trackpad. And that trackpad is assembled very nicely to the chassis. We have our full-size keyboard deck without a numpad. You have a fingerprint reader, shift key, full-size on the right side, almost full-size on the left side. Have your arrow keys here, shortcuts and function keys up top, quickly launch into your Asus command center. So you have some functionality, very nice built into the keyboard. Now this is a Pantone validated display. So as I said, this is great for graphic designers, digital artists, and photographers trying to get the most accurate colors possible within their designs, photographs, and art. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED, I'll put links in the description below. If you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, when I last checked, I've been trying to find this model online, the exact SKU that I have here before me with the Ryzen processor. And I was seeing some models around the 800 to about $1,200 range, depending on the configuration that you get this laptop in. So keep in mind, that's gonna be your range, but again, live pricing in the description below. If you wanna go ahead and use a pen on this laptop, I have the Asus Pen 2.0, but I forgot to charge it. So I'm gonna get that charged up and let's take a quick look at the ports and hopefully we'll have enough juice to show you how the pen works on the laptop display. So going ahead and looking at the right side panel, you can see we have two USB type C's, a micro SD card reader, a headphone jack, and an HDMI port. On the left side, we have a USB type A. I think this laptop has fantastic connectivity for how thin and light it is. For the micro SD card reader, you can quickly expand the storage on the laptop by sliding a micro SD card in and having 256, 512, or one terabyte 
added to your device. Now also two USB type C's obviously is great connectivity and then HDMI. I'm still a big fan of HDMI because I do a lot of screen sharing within my system. And so that helps me out being able to quickly plug into my system or maybe I go to a conference room and I need to display some presentation that I'm working on. It helps a lot to be able to functionally do the work I do every day. So I've got the pen working. Unfortunately, I don't have Photoshop installed yet, but we can go ahead and quickly jump into paint and draw some stuff up. So you can see the touch sensitivity in paint does not show off as it would inside of Photoshop, but let's see if we can just go ahead and quickly change the brush size. You can see the responsiveness is really good. So I'm going ahead and I'm looking on the screen and it immediately is popping up. So really nice responsive pen. It flows smoothly across the screen. The pen doesn't have that kind of grippiness paper-like feel that some pens have, especially with the OLED display. It really glides along smoothly on the display. So if you're looking for a very paper-like feel, this would not be the device. However, if you did want to go ahead and add a screen protector that is a paper-like feel, you can look into that and do that. And then it would make that more paper feel as you drag across. But the pen is very responsive, especially with that Ryzen 7 7000 series. Um, so really nice combination between the pen and the OLED display. I mentioned the calculator earlier. All you have to do to turn it on is roll your finger into the corner of the trackpad. And you can see it light up there, roll my finger back and it disappears. So that's a nice feature being able to quickly type up stuff on the calculator. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, links are in the description below. Otherwise, click or tap the screen here if you want more videos about the ASUS ZenBook once I release them. I'll see you here in the next video.